Hi everybody, it's Agnes and I've got a success story today and it's from James and it's not an SP story or relationship story but about how James got his GED recently. So, goes like this. I have a success story but this isn't an SP story, it's a success story about how I got my GED recently in February of 2019. I was at a toxic high school environment that had me feeling drained of my energy to the point where I felt and even looked sick. Fast forward to February of 2018, I decided enough is enough. I was 19 and I knew I deserved better. I checked myself out of my high school. But unfortunately, the staff expected me to fail. By the end of this story, you'll of course find out how they were wrong. Around the time of 2018, when I left that school, I had recently got out of a bad breakup, bad breakup in which a guy I was interested in left without telling me anything. This left me heartbroken for months, and for the entire 2018, I was in pain, which left me in a position of not focusing on getting my GED. By the middle of August 2018, I found out about Law of Attraction and I couldn't believe how all this time I'd been manifesting but just hadn't realized it. Fast forward to December 2018 and I took my GED test but failed due to my negative thoughts and constant worry. <sighs> Knowing about Law of Attraction, I knew I could fix this. I was scheduled to take the test again for February 12th, 2019, and this time I knew I would pass. I started feeling good about it. As the days and weeks would get closer to the test day, I started having constant dreams about passing the test to the point where it felt real. One night I even had a dream of what was going to be on the test, and guess what? Everything I dreamed about was on the test. LOL. Leading up to taking the test, I had a bad argument with both my mum and my current SP, which left me in pain, but I didn't let it get to me. On the morning of taking the test, I felt positive and really relaxed. I felt that I would be happy whether I passed it or not. Fast forward to a day later, I got this strong urge to check my school account to find out if I had passed. I headed to the library, checked my account and found out that I had passed. Yay! I was in total shock and I couldn't believe it had happened. What made it more emotional was the day I received my diploma was around the same time the old staff at my old school were expecting me to fail. I'm excited to be turning 20 by December 2019 and so grateful to have learnt about self-love and Neville through your channel. I still have work to do on myself and look forward to sending more success stories and maybe even a SP story one day in God's timing. Thank you so much, Agnes. Oh, James, that's lovely. And you know how wonderful that, wow, learning this at 19, and, and accessing it, being able to use it for the rest of your life. You know, how wonderful, how wonderful. I was in my 20s when I first came across it and you know, it was Louise Hay was my first person of learning when my mum would listen to it when I was young. And you know, it really was something that I, at the time, you know, used to roll my eyes and go, oh my God, what is she listening to? It has now become something that has been incredible in my life because Louise Hay is the godmother of self-love. So, oh, excellent, excellent. Now, I want to say too, I'm, for those of you that are new or those of you that have been around for a while, if you want some extra support, Caitlin Moon, whom I have interviewed on many an occasion, uh, has kindly started a group for the viewers of this channel and I do pop in and out of there but she has been holding the fort and helping and there are many people that pop in there that have been interviewed so you can get some good connection with them as well so I just thought I'd mention that and also I will put down below the success stories that are in relation to this particular success story to do with being successful for study or successful at you know college or school I will put those down below for those of you that want to do a bit more listening so that's it lots of love oh one more thing also 
there is a meditation channel totally separate from this channel the link is down below in the description and it is meditations on all sorts of different subjects i won't mention them all you know what they are all the different subjects in life so if you want some extra help to help you focus and help you to really live in the end, live in the wish fulfilled of your desire, you can pick the subjects that are in that meditation channel. That channel is meditations only, okay? So they're guided and some are voice only, some have got music depending on what you prefer. Okay, so lots of love. Thank you, James, that was lovely.